Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa, Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, 6th January 2021, we are going to study ecology, lesson 2 of 3. Our website is Digital Teachers. Dot co dot ug. Here find the notes, exams and their marking guides in the physics, chemistry, biology and the math. All visit our YouTube channel, Digital Teachers Uganda, for related videos in the physics, chemistry, biology, math and primary subjects. Please subscribe to promote my videos. Subscription is free. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. The best primary school in Uganda is the Rock of Ages Primary School. Population is a group of individuals of a given species in a given area. Population size is the number of individuals in a population. For example, orotherapia in a lake. Population density is the number of organisms per unit area. Significance of population size. Enable construction of food chains food webs, pyramids of numbers, biomass, and energy. For economic purpose, on the number, size, and type of industry to construct. For like to plan the, the fish processing industry, you should know how much fish you have in a lake. To know the population of pests, to work out control methods. For conservation in national parks, to understand species relationships. Factors to consider when estimating population size. Size of organisms. Big organisms can be counted directly. Mode of organisms such as hostility, mobility, and association. Size of the area. Climate of the area, you know what to put on. Topography of the area, you know the transport means. Nature of vegetation. Methods of estimating population size. One, direct counting. Suitable for big and or non-motile organisms. It may be by an individual moving around the area, counting each individual, or through photography and organisms counted from the picture or the photographs. Advantage, it is a quick method, requires less skill and cheap. You may just need a book and a pen. Disadvantages, it is tedious. You may be exposed to risks of attack from aggressive animals. It is expensive if aerial pictures are involved. It cannot be applied to small organisms. It is zero. Two, sampling method. Organisms are counted in a sample of an area. All volume of water to be used to estimate the total number of organisms in an area. Roman 1 quadrant method. It is a small marked area for study. A quadrant frame or specified area is thrown randomly and average number of organisms 
of a species calculated in that area and used to calculate the total number of organisms in the area of study. Advantages of quadrant method is accurate, enables comparison of different areas and species. It is the first. Disadvantages, it requires skill. It is not appropriate for big organisms. It is tedious, cause some disturbance in the environment. Assumption is of quadrant method. Quadrants are chosen randomly. Organisms don't move from one quadrant to another. Organisms are uniformly distributed. Quadrants are representative of the whole area of study. Roman to capture, recapture. All mark release method. A sample, any one of individuals are caught, counted, and marked in some way and released. After being allowed to mix with the rest of unmarked population, a second sample is caught. And the number of marked individuals, any theory, is noted. Then the population size is equal to n1 times n2 over n3. Precaution is marked organisms should mix uniformly with non marked organisms. Time allowed for uniform mixing. No immigration or immigration occurs. Max a permanent theory removal method suitable for small organisms for example insects in the water or grassland using a net in some form of standard sweep the number of organisms is recorded the procedure is repeated and the decreasing number of organisms in each sweep is recorded. A graph of the number of animals captured per sample against the previous cumulative number of animal is plotted. By extra plotting to zero, the number of animals captured in a sample, the population size is obtained. For example, in an experiment, to determine the number of insects in a pool. In the first sample, there was 120 insects. The previous cumulative frequency was zero. In the second sweep, there were 93 insects. The previous cumulative frequency is 120 plus zero, which is 120. In the third sweep, there were 60 insects. The previous cumulative frequency is 93 plus 120, which is 213. In the fourth sweep, there were 35 insects. The previous cumulative number of previous samples would be 60 plus 213, which is 2. 73. When we plot the number in a sample against cumulative or previous number, the 120 is plotted against zero. The 93 is plotted against 120. The 60 is plotted against 200, 213. The 35 is plotted against 270, 
275. When we, we extrapolate this graph to zero, we find that the number is approximately 425. Population growth curve. It is a sigmoid curve. OA, population growth, is slow due to lack of reproductive individuals. AB, growth rate is high due to presence of reproductive individuals and lack of environmental resistance. BC, growth rate reduces due to environmental stresses such as diseases, competition for food, competition for space, increase in pollution, competition for light, competition for air, and competition for mates. Ecological niche. A niche of an organism consists of all abiotic and biotic factors affecting it. All it is a habitat and its profession. Gauss's exclusion principle states that not two species can occupy the same niche. When two species are mixed, one becomes extinct, or coexistence can occur when there is a resource partitioning. A community is the sum of all living organisms in a specified area. Ecosystem is a self-sustaining unit consisting of interacting organisms together with their non-living organisms. Succession is change of a community over time in which species are replaced by another. Primary succession begins with bare rock where there is no form of organic matter. Usually, the first organisms pioneer community to colonize a bare rock is lichen, followed by Moses, fern, then big plants and animals when organic matter accumulates. Second succession begins on an area without any plant or animals, but has been influenced by living organisms and contains some organic matter. Productivity. One, gross primary production is the total organic materials made by photosynthesis in a specified time. Two, Net primary productivity is the amount of organic materials by photosynthesis actually available to herbivores. That is, net primary productivity is equal to gross primary productivity minus the sum of respired and decomposed organic matter. Trophic efficiency is the percentage of energy at one trophic level which ends up in the next trophic level. Climax community is the final stage of succession, remaining relatively stable until destroyed by an event such as fire, flood, volcanic eruption, or human interference. Environmental carrying capacity is the population of organisms that can be sustained by available resources in an ecosystem it resides. Deflected succession is a community that remains stable only because human activity prevent succession from learning its course. For example, grazing of sheep prevents grassland 
from development into woodland. The changes in gross productivity, respiration and biomass during typical succession is shown below. The figure shows that in the climax community, gross productivity, respiration and biomass become more or less constant. Then it too, the upper limit of biomass is reached when the total respiratory loss is almost equal to gross primary productivity. And if it is, the productivity decreases with succession because available nutrients are locked up in the biomass. In general, factors that influence population size include natality, birth increases population, mortality, death reduces population, immigration increases the population, immigration decreases the population. Abiotic factors such as a bit of soil nutrients, natural calamities reduce the population. A variety of food increases the population. A variety of space increases the population. Predation reduces the population. Diseases reduce population. And parasites reduce the population. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Our website is digitalteachers.co.ug. Here you find notes, exams, and their marking guides in physics, chemistry, biology, math, and primary subjects. Or visit our YouTube channel, Digital Teachers Uganda, for related videos in physics, chemistry, biology, math, and primary subjects. Please subscribe to promote my videos. Subscription is free. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. The best primary school in Uganda is Lock of Ages Primary School.